Hi, welcome to my channel Power of PowerPoint with Shruti Sharma, where I share creative PowerPoint ideas to help professionals or students like you create engaging presentations. And today I am going to show you a trick that will help you create some beautiful layouts that people would not think have been made on PowerPoint. So without any further delay, let's begin. We all have seen such slides on Pinterest, Google and other various websites, right? And we always wonder that, wow, these slides look so nice, but I don't think these can be created on PowerPoint. This is more like a graphic designing tool work. But trust me, now with the way PowerPoint is evolving every year or every two, three years, what you can do with PowerPoint is just insane. So all these beautiful slides that you see right now can be created on PowerPoint and you know when I teach you how to do this you will actually be surprised because it's so easy that anyone can do it even if you are not somebody who works on PowerPoint often but you can also create slides like this and especially for your title slides, your breaker slides, your concept slides, theme slides, I think these sort of you know, the effect that you can learn to create in PowerPoint will make your slides look really nice. Look at this. So even for a very, very basic slide, if you use, if you're using any image, so rather than using it in a very basic shape, you can create such wow effects by using this very simple trick that I'm going to teach you today. And trust me, once you learn to use this one, you would not go back to your regular images. So first let me teach you how this trick works and then we are going to recreate all the three four slides that we saw all right so let me begin with a very very basic shape that i'm going to use here so i'm using just basic four squares all right very simple and very very easy to do just go to insert choose your four shapes and put them together now i'm going to choose all of them and group them so you can either right click and group them or I like to use shortcuts so I do Control G which actually can group a shape. To ungroup you can use the shortcut Control Shift G and to group them back Control G that's the shortcut. So now it's basically one unit right that's what grouping does. Now all I have to do is just right click go to format shape and this menu opens up on the right hand side. We all know that you can use solid fill to change the color gradient but Let's see what picture does in this particular trick. So I'm going to click on picture. And right now it has taken the previous picture that I had used. Now I'm going to go to insert. Choose my image, the one that I want to insert. So let's say I want to use this one. And my image is already here. If you want to get rid of the outline, you can do that. If you want minor outline, if you want to move the boxes closer, you can do that as well, even after grouping them. For example, if you want these to be slightly closer that can be done and you've got the same effect if sometime you feel that the picture seem a little uh, let's say compressed or stretched you can adjust the picture using these four tabs that you see over here like this I'm going to just shift it a little to the right and we are good so it's that simple to create this effect. I'm going to show you one more example and then we are going to move to the three slides that we are going to recreate. So I'm just taking three very basic shapes again. Let me take four. I'm going to reduce the thickness and maybe add one more bar over here. I want to bring them slightly closer. I'm going to be using the align technique here in case you do not know how to use align. Do check out my video the link is in the description box choose all the elements Control g to group them together now just right click format shape and click on the picture it's basically you group them together and insert a picture now i don't want to use the same image here so i'm going to get a new one let's see which one do we want to go ahead with i'm going to take this one getting rid of the outline and right now I can see that my image is looking slightly compressed to me so I am going to play with this a little by stretching it look at this perfect right now let me 
show you how to recreate the example that we saw. We are going to begin with this one. I'm going to go to shapes and get the same shape over here. We are going to make another copy, put it over here. One more copy. Perfect. Now choose all of them. I am going to bring them to a new slide and group them. Alright. Right click, format shape. Go to pictures and insert the picture that you want to use in this particular shape. So let's say I'm going to go for So I have picked up this image, I am going to get rid of the outline and if you want to create this similar effect, you can trace the other outline that is there. I am going to do the exactly same thing. If you want to add a triangle at the bottom, you can do that as well. And you're good to go look at this and if you see this is less than a minute job actually so to create such impactful slides in less than a minute isn't this amazing so I'm going to show you another example let's look at this one I think this looks fabulous for a title slide for a breaker slide or even for your concept or theme slide if you want to make a slide look impactful I think this one really really does the work so we are going to recreate this slide. I'm going to make a copy of this one because we will have to trace these boxes, right? So the first thing that we are going to do is trace this complete shape. So I'm going to get the same shape from the insert feature in PowerPoint. And I will start tracing this. If you want it to be traced exactly like the, the existing one, you can also use it. So once you have traced the complete shape, just copy it on a new slide. Alright, and now what we are going to do is just see if you think there are any gaps in terms of distances. Like for example, if I think this is a little too close, I am going to just pull it back a little. Perfect. And now I am going to select all of them by... Now I am going to select all of them by pressing ctrl a and i'm going to group them i'm using this shortcut called ctrl g now once these are grouped you will see that this has become like one unit right which which means that you can move it around now just right click for mat shape go to the picture it will get the last picture that you selected so you can choose the new picture that you want to use for this particular shape i'm going to choose this one and I'm going to get rid of the outlines. Now if you feel the picture is compressed or stretched, you can fix it using these four tabs, offset left, right, top and bottom. I think it's a little stretched, so I'm going to compress it a little.
and your slide is done in less than 2 minutes if you want to change the image you don't have to go through the same thing all over again all you have to do is just go over here click on insert and find the other picture that you want to use instead of this one for example i want to use let's say this one instead and your picture has been changed by just click of a button let me show you one more example we'll try and recreate this one in order to do this first of all we have to trace the shape right so i am going to get this one the rounded corner rectangular shape now i know you may be wondering that this one is not same as this because the corners are not properly rounded but here is where the magic happen this yellow dot that you see if if you have not played with this try to play with it and you will see that you can actually change the orientation of shapes a little bit look at this all i did was let me show it to you once again if you actually pull it like this you will get back to the same shape or you can get the rounded corner so now i am going to make copies of the same shape increase the size and i am using this shortcut which is shift and arrows to change the size of the shape in case you are not aware of the shortcut you could use this it's very very helpful and saves a lot of time shift and arrows and i'm going to make multiple copies perfect now i'm going to select all of them and copy them on a new slide over here once i have them all here just select all of them and control g to group them now i'm going to click on picture insert and select the picture that i want to insert in these shapes look how beautiful this effect is look at this so you can create a lot of layouts using this particular trick look at these slides so i have used the same technique in all of these slides in fact if you check out magazine covers you will see this feature being used a lot in magazine covers and what you can do with this is just insane look at this look at this beautiful magazine cover so you can create something like this you can create a slide like this so just explore what you can do with this feature i have only shown shown you a couple of ways but this can be used in multiple ways trust me and it will instantly elevate the look and feel of your presentation so use it on your title slide to you know impress the audience and obviously you can use it on theme slides breaker slides and a lot more So I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. Uh, if yes, then please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And also let me know in the comment box if you want me to make video on any particular subject or any particular topic in PowerPoint, and I'll surely cover that. All right. So I'll see you next time. Thank you so much for watching.